Welcome back to the channel ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be your last chance to buy Bitcoin around these levels so please pay attention throughout this video because uh, there's a lot of stuff to get through and also uh, yeah you don't want to just buy Bitcoin you want to wait for certain things to happen, certain criteria. So uh, without further ado let's jump straight into this. We can see the chart here just testing the bull market barrier right now not fantastic. Uh, we are on literally on top of this four hour volume weighted ATR band. Uh, right now there is a bit of a wick forming on the daily but what I can say is that uh, we, we could be just beginning this dump right uh, if we are looking down at the one hour we can see uh, from what we drew yesterday right we talked about this wedge structure we said don't take a trade I got a phone call, but <laughs> don't take a trade uh, unless we get above this high, right? And we did not, right? This was the trade we were highlighting. We actually came just up to that level. What we were looking for was uh, something like this, right? And then breaking the high and getting in, of course. But uh, yeah, no, that did not happen. So again, we didn't lose anything. We are safe in that trade. It's fine. Okay, it's, it's beautiful. So after that, we came down. Dirty, disgusting trap as always. Uh, and then we had this short highlighted for a potential bit of profit. Unfortunately for me, I was actually asleep during this time. You can see uh, it's midnight here in Thailand uh, when this kind of all went down. So uh, not something that I was in on, but uh, there was potentially a chance to get in just as we lost this low here. Okay, uh, obviously you wouldn't be going for this whole percentage, but down to the trend line after losing a prominent low and retesting uh, the trend line we've lost, right? Yeah, it makes sense to be potentially targeting a short here, right? So if you did find a short here uh, for 0.6%, fantastic stuff. If not, absolutely fine. Pretty difficult market right now. Uh, just watch and learn, I would say, if you are a bit newer. Okay, I've been doing this for eight years. So uh, yeah, if I was around for this and I, I was at the computer, then uh, I would definitely I would have got into this but uh, unfortunately no we didn't get this one this time around and yeah the markets aren't great it's also a Friday so traditional markets are closing um, tonight of course which means that yeah we can expect more sideways price action we can't expect major pumps or major dumps on the weekend because the big money just isn't trading right and the big money is in Bitcoin right now okay it's all the institutions are in we've got the ETFs we've got everything going on right uh, so always follow uh, what's happening in the week more than the weekend because that's when the big money trades okay so as of right now, what we can see here on the Binance chart, a little bit different to the index, but we can see the four hour uh, volume weighted ATR band down here at 63.2. As we said, we're looking for that open interest to reset around 62.5. So uh, if, if today goes the way I think it may, then uh, I believe that we come down probably to the low 60s even more. And then uh, basically when the weekend's over, we look to reclaim these trend lines, okay, on Monday, and then absolutely bang it towards the upside from there. Okay, that's the plan anyway. Uh, if, if that doesn't happen, if we do just get a major swan crashing scenario, maybe we will find a short, but uh, it is a risky one, of course, definitely an advanced trade, uh, but definitely one I'm, I'm not being blind to here, right? If we do want to come down and have another wave here, what I will do more than anything, obviously I want to see us below 63.2 for a potential short, but very, very risky to be finding a quick scalp in these areas for sure. But for those of you that are a little bit more advanced, and you want to know how I'm going to do it. Essentially, if we do come down here, right, if we do come down like this and we get this wave down, what we're going to be looking for is the one hour seven SMA, okay, to come down with it. Uh, once we have made a low, okay, and this has to be somewhere around 62.5, what we're going to be looking for is to come up, okay, on the hourly candles, retest, this uh, this beautiful moving average, the 7 SMA on the hourly, and then find uh, probably like a 1% short, something like this, off of that uh, just over the weekend and bang that in. And you can see, yeah, just from 63.5 down to 62.8. But it's only in the scenario that we dump first, right? What we're doing here is behaving similar to a bot. So a bot right now uh, won't be trying to short here. A bot would be trying to short when we hit the moving average, right? This is why uh, Bitcoin respects the moving averages because this is how the bots trade. This is how the market makers uh, make the bots trade, right? Uh, so yes, we're going to be doing the same thing. Robots are smarter than us. So uh, yeah, we will be looking at this moving average here, looking for that 1% towards the downside in the scenario that this happens. If we recover from here, it's a little bit different of a scenario. Uh, we do have a small trend line here that has formed. Uh, I'm not too interested in it because we've just got so much resistance around this area, as you can see see. But what I am interested in is uh, one, if we can reclaim this at any point. 
point, right? 65k, this trend line going up. If we can reclaim it, this soul section would go down as a trap, and uh, it would be actually pretty bullish here as soon as we get over 66.5. Uh, and with that being said, 66.5 is really where I'm looking for uh, a major entry here, uh, where, where we can essentially ride that up to 68. And then, uh, yeah, we should probably go into the on-chain as well for a bit more of a macro look. I haven't actually looked at the, this stuff today, so this is going to be fresh eyes for me. But uh, let's just check this out. Let's just check this stuff out. I do want to see where liquidations are as well. Okay, so we can see liquidation heat map here right now. Uh, we can see on the three day where it's a little bit better. Okay, so yeah, so we do have some new levels, 95.1. I think it's quite likely we come up and hit that very, very soon. Um, but did I just say 95.1 as the as the price? No, six, about 65K. Okay, about 65K here, um, but 95.1 million for these market makers looking to grab here. And uh, yeah, it doesn't look like uh, this is the market makers doing it. You can usually tell when the market makers are doing it because uh, they all have this and they'll have that. And that's usually just walls, right? But uh, we can see here, there's, there's not really too much equal on the other side here and nothing else really started at the same time. Uh, maybe something like this, but uh, <clears throat> I think it's fine here. Uh, and if anything, this just outlines a potential range for the weekend. Okay, but what we're going to be looking for here is potentially to come up to 65k, and if it does want to go higher than that, great. Okay, but uh, I'm not super interested in a long around this area just yet. I want to wait for Monday and then just buy up all the alts, <laughs> right? Because uh, I think that could be uh, pretty profitable. Let's just see the en energy value today it has gone up a little bit. Uh, 60, uh, not 60. There's the uh, there's the. <laughs> autism coming through strong there uh, 76 here 76.7 being the energy value price if we get above there you guys know the deal it basically just means we go parabolic and it's free money for everyone all right so that's really what we're waiting for here on the macro but as of right now sideways until we die ways it seems to be uh, the case here uh, if we are going to look at yeah, okay, so this looks bad. This looks bad. The three month here on the electricity consumption index, uh, usually when these are sloping towards the downside, it's bad. Uh, we have been making some progress here towards the upside uh, over the past few days slash weeks, but it does look like potentially it could curl over here, which could spell for a capitulation event. Let's just take a look at outflows right now. What happened yesterday with the outflows? Minus 134 mil uh, after that 21 cents inflow uh, on the previous day. So yeah, very, very bad. Lots of outflows um, consecutive executively here, right? So we had um, we had here 175 mil, we had minus a mil, minus 53 mil, uh, minus 49 mil, plus 21 cents, and then minus 134 mil. So it seems institutions may be a little bit scared right now. Uh, I don't know what's going on in the world, but uh, yeah, a lot of things are happening. And uh, yeah, we did just put out some updates. And uh, this is actually uh, meant to be for the paid members. So we're just going to ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> you can pause the video if you want, but this is where I'm basically giving you guys the trade setups that I'm doing every single day here, as you can see. So uh, yeah, if you if you want to join the Patreon, feel free. It's super super cheap. Okay, it's only 10, uh, 10 bucks. All right, uh, and. If you just want to follow for free, guys, I will do one uh, TA setup for free for you guys. And that was the Gala trade today. So if Gala gets above a 0.029, then uh, it looks very good. We were looking at this resistance here, as you can see. Uh, so, yeah, if we get above this resistance and the volume weighted ATR band on Gala, super, super good. And, uh, yeah, this one was just for free on the Patreon we put out today. So uh, if you do uh, want these free setups every day, then feel free to follow on the Patreon. It's the first link in the description. Go do it. It's free. It's literally free. No credit card, no nothing, okay? You just press follow. <laughs> okay, so if you want to do that, uh, be sure to do it. If not, absolutely fine. No problem, okay? And uh, yeah, besides that, that's pretty much it on this side of the show, okay? So let, let's just go back to the chart here and just summarize what we're looking for, okay? So again, uh, we're looking for a potential short, and this will be later tonight, ideally, if it does head down anyway, right? A potential short after we retest the 7 SMA as it comes down, uh, but also a potential long if we can get above 66.5, okay? That is only 2.5K away, but a pretty substantial move without a pullback if that does happen. So, yeah, just be careful. And we do have that big uh, liquidity section on, on the chart that we showed you just now at 65K. So uh, 65K being the real resistance we need to get above, but uh, I wouldn't just be banging in longs if we get above there, just based on the fact that we've had so many traps over this trend line. It's really disgusting, right? And we can move the trend line up, but uh, it doesn't really line up so well, okay? So, uh, yeah. That's pretty much all there is to say there on the short term. It does look, uh, it does look actually like like we want to pump here, but uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not trusting this too much just now because uh, we are in a bit of a downtrend. It looks pretty disgusting. So yeah, if we can get above this kind of mid 66k level, then uh, we'll be out of this trap zone. 
it'll be beautiful and uh, we can basically be looking for a trade all the way up here first of all to 67.5 where this uh, horizontal low is right but also after that uh, we could probably target as high as 70k uh, but this would probably be next week uh, if we do want to just give this a couple days over the weekend right and again the reason why we're not trading on the weekend is because institutions don't trade on the weekend therefore there's less money driving the price where it's meant to go right um, besides that yeah we've got the three day volume weighted ATR band down here if we do want to continue this dump again 61k this is the area I'm watching this is the area I'm basically going to blindly buy uh, for a scalp as well <laughs> uh, and the reason for that is it's just it's just strong and we usually get m real real volatility around this line you can see here the end of our last run uh, even though the run ended uh, we had a massive massive volatile range form okay this is a 43 percent range ridiculous okay ridiculous in a couple days so uh yeah definitely something that uh we want to keep an eye out for major major scalps could be had uh, with that and potentially even over the weekend because it is going to be sideways and volatile all right so uh yeah keep an eye on that one but again here this three day we can see pumping off of that okay lots of volatility around that area so uh, potentially just setting up a grid bot along this line uh, where, where whenever we get to it and just letting bitcoin do its thing where it, where it finds out what price it wants to kind of settle at uh yeah you can make a lot of money from that volatility and that's essentially my plan here right uh, so yeah it's not blind long but i will i will be setting up a range a grid bot many many orders right uh, over like a three or four k uh, span and then from that point let as if bitcoin does want to have one of these major crashes that's going to be where it's going to go up and down uh, relatively fast as well and the faster bitcoin goes uh, these these are the opportunities, right? This is the opportunity you need because the faster Bitcoin goes, the more money you make with a strategy like that, right? You're not going to make that much uh, trading a grid bot on the way up when Bitcoin is super aggressive, right? But uh, when we are kind of figuring out where our supports are and we do get these big ranges come through, I mean, you can you can seriously make a lot of money doing this. I know a lot of people that make millions of dollars every single year, not even trading the trends, just waiting for major dumps and just setting up the grid bots on support literally like that okay uh, and sometimes we will, we will smash through them of course but um yeah you got that's why you got stop losses right so uh, this is essentially the range i'm looking for here if we do want to have a major dump uh, we could go down as low as 55k if it does start seriously crashing right uh, but uh, because of this middle line here and because of this three-day volume weighted atr band we could have this range uh, and again this is a 17 percent range so i'm just gonna try and catch wow i caught it i caught it i don't know if you saw that I didn't, I didn't catch it. I was, that was a lie, but I thought I caught it and then it just landed on my finger. <laughs> so I just kept, insane, insane, right? Blessed. <laughs> okay. Or cursed. Who knows? Who knows? What do flies represent? Probably not good, right? <laughs> uh, but yeah, we can see here. We can see, um, yeah, volume weighted ATR band, three day. This is the, this is the real summary of what we're looking for here. If we, if we do want to set up a range in this area, you could probably set it up between about 64K and uh, 58K if you want to be a bit more cautious. But if we do get a major crash here, and I'm, I'm talking like an hourly to hour, an hourly to four hour candle where we just seriously crash through this stuff. Yes, that's when you want to set up these grid bots. And that's when you want to set up these range trading strategies coming through okay so that's going to be it from me i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope you've got value from this video please like it if you did because it does help me out a lot and uh of course if you've watched it this far you guys know the deal okay leave me a comment with your trading view name and i'll give you two weeks i was going to say one week but we're feeling generous today two weeks on this volume weighted atr band indicator and it's, it's multi time frame it's beautiful okay it's beautiful you can just set up any time frame you want on your chart oh it's good and there's six bands as well all right so if you're interested in that for free leave a comment with your trade of your name just say my name is blah and if you say slim shady it's 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 cringe don't do it don't do it okay i'll see you guys in the next one have a fantastic day and i hope you're liking the short content out there peace